friends, this is Lindy. Welcome to my channel, Lindy's Magpie Reads. Uh, this is going to be a fairly short video, I hope. I'm just going to talk a little bit about the Edmonton Folk Music Festival, which I attended last weekend. It's a four-day festival that runs from Thursday through Sunday, and I had a weekend pass. I heard so much great music. And I just wanted to share with you um, a little bit of the flavor of the festival. And I've got um, some book recommendations that I've paired up with two of the um, musical artists that really made an impression on me. So just a, an overview of the festival. It's held in... Gallagher Park, which is a steep hill coming up from the River Valley. The North Saskatchewan River runs right through Edmonton and it forms kind of a natural amphitheater. So um, I've got some photos that show you know what it's like at the top of the hill looking down at the main stage. So you can just get a feel for what it's like. Uh, I think the artist performing in this video is Matt Anderson. There are seven stages in all. My, my favorite thing actually is to see the musicians at the smaller stages, um, either in uh, you know, just one set concert by a group or an individual, or several artists on stage at the same time. So this uh, next video that I'm gonna show you is a musician from the Ivory Coast, the Côte d'Ivoire, and her name is Dobe Naore. I'm going to link to her website below. If you want more information about her, what a dancer as well as a fantastic musician. Now, she was in Edmonton for the Folk Music Festival in 2019, and I saw her then, so I was very excited to see that she had come back. And um, it was 30 degrees outside, and there was no shade, <laughs> and I didn't care because oh, I love, love, love watching her perform. <laughs> So I have two recommendations of books from the Ivory Coast for you. The first is called In the Company of Men. It's written by Veronique Tadjo, and she translated it to English herself with the help of John Cullen. Now, this is a polyphonic fable sort of story about the Ebola crisis and it won the LA Times Fiction Award and it's told in these brief chapters each in different voices uh, there's a doctor a patient a grieving orphan uh, a baobab tree um, a volunteer from overseas uh, there's even the voice of the virus and it's very moving and uh, the other book I'm going to recommend is actually a series. I think there are six. Uh, and they're all about Aya, who's a 19-year-old living in um, the Ivory Coast in the late 1970s. So that was a time when things were very peaceful and prosperous uh, in this urban working class neighborhood where Aya lives. It's about her and her friends, very um, slice of life and, and sort of a soap opera too. Did I mention the author is Marguerite Abouet. The uh, artist is Clément Oubrerie and it was translated to English by 
Helga Dasher. Very upbeat. The first book in the series won the uh, prestigious Angoulême Award when it came out. I think for first first comic. I think that that was the category that it was in. Anyway, I do recommend that. And here's a little bit more of Dobe Gnori. <laughs> to talk about a, um, a group from Quebec that plays traditional music, the Tans en Temps, and I will link to their website below as well. Uh, one of the great things that was happening as I was watching them perform was the dancing. So I did take some clips of the dancing, which I will include. Um, something that I didn't capture on video because I was too far away for my camera to really capture it, but I could see what was happening. So um, because there was a lot of people at this small stage and many people wanted to dance, um, at the side they formed a circle and then people took turns going to the middle and showing off their moves. <laughs> and it was. It was just great. So I have two uh, recommendations of books from Quebec. Uh, um, actually, this first one I think is by French authors, but it's about uh, Quebec in the 1940s and it's called Magasin General. The first one, the first volume out of three is Marie and the um, creators are Régis Loisel and Jean-Louis Tripp. So it's all about Marie, this young widow who runs the general store in small town Quebec in the 1940s. And uh, according to Goodreads, it has been translated to English from, by, came out from Casterman um, in 2012, but I haven't seen the English edition. If you read French, I highly recommend uh, Magasin General. And uh, this one I know has been translated to English. It's The Little Girl Who Was Too Fond of Matches. And it's by Gaetan Soucy, translated by Sheila Fishman. Now this is about family, family dysfunction to the max. All the trigger warnings. It's uh, got a really distinctive voice. Uh, at the beginning of the novel, the father has committed suicide. And so these siblings have been raised in total isolation. And then after their father dies, they have to face reality and the outside world. So it is creepy and bewitching and surreal and lyrical uh, I, I love it <laughs> so those are my Quebec recommendations for you here's a little bit more of De Temps en Temps <laughs> I thought of a whole bunch more things to say about the Edmonton Folk Music Festival because 
I volunteered at the gate for 10 years, I think. And then I was in the festival kitchen for another few years. So I have many volunteer t-shirts, including the one that I'm wearing, which you can't really see in the videos. So I'm going to pop it up here so you can see the logo. It's one of my favorite of all of the Folk Fest t-shirts that I have. One of the things that I love to eat when I go to the Folk Music Festival is green onion cake. Of course, I had to have green onion cake while I was there. And there are um, lots of other great food trucks that... And thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow for my Friday Reads. Bye for now.